up y'all what is up got some things i need to get off my chest you guys probably think by now chris always got things to get off his chest he always got something to say um this is gonna be more more uh more driven to my christian brothers and brothers and sisters um I'm I'm still addressing the topic of Black Jesus uh, and why it's important. Um, for so it's not important. I'll tell you why it's not important. The it's not important in the sense of Jesus is black or brown, however you want to say. That's not important. Um, I always get this, and I'm gonna say excuse. Because there are people who know um, who Yeshua is, Jesus, and who don't know. And the ones who don't know tell me the same thing. Um, and I, it is, it's too common. It's That's not important or, or it's not a big deal. Um, I'll tell you why it is, it is a big deal now. It's a big deal because if somebody was talking about me that I never met, and they're describing me, and then they show a picture of me, and show this this white guy with blue eyes and and you know short hair, and uh, you know good looking white guy. He's smiling, he's cheesing, and then when they meet me, I'm not that guy that they saw in the picture. Now let's put this on a a global scale, so to speak. So now we have. Jesus, uh, Yeshua, I call him Yahweh Shai. I'll maybe post some stuff about um, about that name. Uh, but we have this image that when you pray, Christians, when you pray, when you close your eyes and think about Jesus, when you go to any church, even black folks, when we've gone to our grandparents' house, um, or when you go to your grandma's house, whether you're black or Mexican, probably more Mexican than Mexicans have this image up than anybody. But when you go to these places and then you associate that image, that image with the savior of the world. So when you have an association in your mind, I'm going to tell you this. It's, it's so important to understand that your mind is a computer and it is a it is an organic computer so if you have an image your association to that image is going to be one thing and not the other so when it's called imprinting you know when uh you hear the the little uh stories about when uh the birds you know if you save a little the little baby birds um it's important to show like um you know they've done this in uh zoos and stuff to where they have the the bird the uh the, the fake bird on their hand to feed the to feed the baby birds that don't have a mom right um, or a dad to feed them the reason why they do that is because they are imprinting on their minds their young impressionable minds the image of a bird and a true mother for your species so the same thing has happened I'm sorry to say this I'm sorry to burst your bubble but I really don't care it because the truth is, is what matters on every spectrum, not just spectrums that you're comfortable with, not just spectrums that, you know, you deem worthy or not for salvation or whatever theology that, that you want to fit on the scriptures. So I'm saying this because you have had, we have all had an image as far as, I'll say just as far as the Americas. Um, we've had an image placed in front of us. We've bowed down to an image, which the Bible talks about not doing, <laughs> probably for this very reason, because he knew this was going to happen. We bowed down to an image. We prayed to an image. And what, is, what do we call that, Christians? You call that idolatry. So that's why it's important, or another reason why it's important. Now, it's not Afrocentric. This is not black people trying to hang on to something and trying to get something for black people no this is about the right representation of the messiah of the savior of the world of the universe 
if you don't know who you're worshiping, then how can you call yourself a follower of this, this guy? So I'm trying to keep it as less spiritual as I can keep it because <laughs> I can go there in the spirit too, but I want to keep it just on a, on a level playing field, a, a simple, 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 simple understanding of why when you close your eyes and you think of Jesus, why it's so important that you don't see a false image. You talk about end times, right? So in the end times, what did he say? He says there's going to be false signs and false miracles. One of the things that's going on right now in technology was just in the Spider-Man movie, um, Far From Home. That movie was all about end time prophecy. I'm telling you. Go see it. Um, it's, it's good, but it's, it's, it tells you how it's going to happen. So in this movie, you had false images all up in the sky. You had the sound and what was behind those false images. It was like a, a, a what are those things called? A little, those little flying things. Um, I know you guys are saying it like, it's that, it's that. I can't hear you right now. This is recording. Um, you know, those little remote control things. You know what I'm talking about. They were behind the false image that was being portrayed to the world, to the masses, not just a group of people, but to the masses. So now everybody believes and starts believing in this false savior and coming out of the sky. Can you imagine this? End times stuff right here, right? You see a false savior coming out of the sky, right? Shooting down, you know, the enemy. Say you saw like, you know, uh, Jesus fighting the devil and the horsemen coming down and we're all like, oh my God, that that is uh this is the end this the, we got to serve we have to serve that's the image of of the Christ that we've seen and so now we serve him meanwhile the ones who are filled with the spirit remember and this is not a knock on you this is a check on you remember the scripture says that uh i believe it's in revelations where he says if i had not shortened the days even my elect would have been fooled that is a big deal people so it's time that we understand why it's important to see the messiah and who he was is and is to come not just who he is in the spirit and all this stuff man stop over spiritualizing everything i am constantly in the spirit i do things in the spirit that if i said here in public y'all would y'all would think i'm more crazy than i am so it has that is one part of revelation the spirit is one part you have the physical as well there are three layers to heaven there's a physical there's the galaxies and then there is the spiritual realm so understand that it's important to get knowledge wisdom and revelation in every single parts of those realms that of which of which the bible calls heavens so um what else do i want to say about that uh, you know, this is just, you know, um, <laughs> yeah, I think, I think I pretty much said what I wanted to say on that as far as like physicalities of, and the physical traits of Jesus. We've been taught one thing and it's wrong, people. I'm sorry, not sorry, that we have all been taught wrong about who Jesus is for one, even in the spirit, um, who he was when he was walking the earth, what he looked like, the region of which he is. One of the things also, I do a lot of study, people. Um, I do a lot of research. I do a lot of study. I read a lot of books. I read a lot of old books, especially. There, I read a lot of secular books. I love reading history. Um, now I didn't when I was in high school, but now he's given me a spirit to just love historical facts. Um, one thing that I do want to say before I shut this video off is like, uh, you people will accept, they'll say, okay, we'll accept that he was, he was definitely Middle Eastern. Um, one night <laughs> the Holy Ghost woke me up one morning, early one morning, it was like five o'clock in the morning. He's like, look up the word Middle Eastern. So I'm like, okay. I look up the word Middle Eastern. It was actually a word that was 
used for military strategies uh, when the French were going against the Russians, I believe, in the early 1900s. That's very recent. That region of land, Africa, uh, Saudi Arabia, um, and especially Northern Africa has been whitewashed like crazy. Everybody thinks Egyptians were white. That's a whole nother topic. Uh, but in that region, that whole region, that whole area right there was known as Africa. Um, or if you want to get technical to people who actually know the real word of Africa, Akabalan, but that may be over some of y'all's heads. Uh, that whole region was known as one region. It was known as Africa. Um, and so the Middle East term was a term that was coined by the United States of America. You can Wikipedia this. Google it. Test, test what I'm saying. Um, Wikipedia says that it was a term, early 1900s, I believe the 1920s, that got popular once America, this is propaganda, um, put it... Uh, in Time Magazine, and it that word stuck with it, and we stuck with it ever since. But that was a military term. It was not, it was a military term, sorry, I didn't explain it well. It was a military term. The reason why they called it Middle East was because to, uh, uh, their strategy was to take over that area of the, of that, of, uh, of Africa, and not, and if their information was intercepted by the Russians, they would not know what they were talking about. So that's why that word Middle East was created. It makes literally no logical sense. If you think of Middle East, that doesn't make any logical sense. But we've, we've accepted things that don't make sense to our logic as facts. And you have to fact check everything. I speak to Christians a lot because you guys are the ones that argue with me the most. <laughs> and, and just like when I was uh, talking about all the spiritual stuff. At first, I got so much pushback, so much hate, you know, losing people, losing followers, losing friends. And then every, all of a sudden, you know, some big pastors start talking about it and everybody believes it. Um, this is, I don't really care about that, but I'm just saying that for your sake to go into what I say um, when I post scriptures, when I say scriptures, any videos or whatever, fact check me. Fact check your pastors, fact check your schools, especially. Uh, there's so much um, history that has been told to us that is just not right. I really don't care about uh, hearing, sounding like a conspiracy theorist. That's another term the FBI, CIA made up just to shut people up and make pe other people feel good. Um, so, you know, it is a grand conspiracy uh, about this image of Christ. And if... Uh, you love truth. You will just love truth, no matter what color he is. Blacks have accepted a white, blue, blonde-haired, brown-eyed, blue-eyed uh, Jesus for centuries. We've accepted that, and without any fight or anything. But now that the truth comes out that he's actually not looking like that, he looks nothing like that, he's quite the opposite, white people are finding a hard time believing that, unless they are woken up by the Ruach, by the Spirit himself. And so this is just to put this on your conscience. Um, you don't have to believe what you don't want to believe. You have a choice. But if it's true, you need you sh you should sit with it. Um, walk with walk with Abba with it. I walk with God all the time about stuff I didn't believe at first, and He brings me to light and the and the truth of it. So, you know, humble yourselves. Uh, stop accusing the brethren. Stop doing that. Stop fighting. Stop. Just stop. It ain't worth it. Um, if you know the truth, know it. And, and, and you better preach it. You better tell it. Uh, because we're all responsible for the things that we that are put on our conscience. And, and we're all accountable to deal with it. So, um, I'm done. <laughs>